if you have employees who are on salary, I like really need you to listen up because there's some big changes coming down the pipe and we need to pay attention. I need you to pay attention. Okay, so first and foremost, we need to understand where all this comes from. So it's a salary basis test from the FLSA. This probably sounds like Greek to you, right? But it's the Fair Labor Standards Act and it is how we differentiate if someone should be salary exempt or non-exempt, also more strange words. But essentially what it's saying is, can I pay this person's salary? And they're basically, I mean, for the most part, again, there's like, there's gonna be an asterisk next to everything I say because there's always exceptions and, and, and things can change. And it just, it's for every different position, it's, it's, you need to analyze each one. Um, but in general, when you pay someone's salary, they're exempt from overtime and meal break laws. And when you pay someone non-exempt, AKA hourly, they are entitled to the, the overtime and the meal and rest break periods and some other things like premium pay for skip lunches in states like California. Um, and, 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 and they're entitled to that because they're hourly. And so that's how we differentiate between the two. And with those hourly folks, you, you will also have to keep time records. And so, it seems like as a business owner, a lot of people will be like, oh, it's so much easier if I could just pay salary. And then there's a stigma behind clocking in and being hourly or being salaried like it's more important. Um, but but uh, you got to do you know, what's right by the worker and right by the law.